Would you like to see something more advanced and more mysterious in the domain of process mining? Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and I make videos on business process automation. In this video I'll show you a completely different approach to process mining. It is called declarative process mining. This is a complex topic. Fortunately, there is a very nice tool to try this in practice and thus explore the mysteries of the declare language. The tool is called RUM and I'll put a link in the description below. There will also be a link to the supplementary material if you want to take a closer look. Our example process here is about creating and publishing a report. The one from the previous video. This is a collaborative process with a weak control flow structure. We had this PetriNet there, but we were not really happy with it. The activities were create report, edit report, check report and publish report. We didn't want to restrict the freedom too much, but wanted to avoid to try checking a report that has never been written, for example. So the approach in the language declare now is not to specify a concrete order on the activities like in a PetriNet or in a directly follows graph. Instead, we just specify a set of more general constraints on these activities. For our example, this looks like this. How can we read that? On the top left, we have that create report is always the first activity and only occurs once. On the bottom right, we have that publish report is always the last activity and only occurs once. The bottom row looks like a sequence, but it isn't. The first precedence arrow reads, if check report occurs, it is preceded by edit report at some point in time. So edit report does not have to occur directly before check report. The second precedence arrow reads, if publish report occurs, it is preceded by check report at some point in time. So it is possible that edit report occurs between check report and publish report. I don't know if I could make myself clear. Perhaps RUM can help us here. Let's look at the explanation of RUM. We can look at the textual representation of the same constraints. Create report occurs first. Create report occurs exactly once. Publish report occurs exactly once. Publish report occurs if preceded by check report. And check report occurs if preceded by edit report. And publish report is the last to occur. And there is even a third representation of constraints in RUM. Yes, it's a finite automaton. And if we compare this finite automaton with the PetriNet of the previous video, we can see a strange similarity. We can even say that they are equivalent because they represent exactly the same set of traces. But now let's go back to our original topic. Let's go to the computer and create some logs. So I have my RUM already open here on this screen and I have several possibilities on the top level. Discovery, conformance checking, log generation, the MP declare editor and monitoring. And what we want to do here is log generation. So if we click that, we have the possibility to open an MP declare model and we can import that from the file system and I have already done that. And here is our declare file, which you can also find in the supplementary material. And then we just say OK. And next we have to set some parameters. So the first thing is we have to 
choose the generation method. And in this case, we have to use the minor full log generator because we have used some constructs that the other generator doesn't understand. And we set the minimum events per trace. So we say that minimum is 2, maximum is 12, and the number of positive traces, we will set that to 50. And then we generate the traces. And now you can see one of the traces here, check report, edit report, check report, publish report. So it looks good. Let's just take another one. Create report, edit, 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 check, publish, looks good. And so we can look at these traces that have been generated here. And next step is the export here. So we go export log and then we export this to some folder and we call this report and we save. When we export the log file to an XES file and import it into PROM, then we get the following PetriNet in the inductive miner. What we can see here is a PetriNet that doesn't quite capture the constraints of our process. For example, in this PetriNet, it is possible to create, edit and publish a report without checking it. For this collaborative process with a weak control flow structure, it seems that the declarative approach is more suitable. I would be happy to hear from you and answer your questions.